And let the ramp up again as the Jets are conducting OTAs down in Florham Park. All the buzz is around quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Head coach Robert Salas says of Rodgers, no restrictions. Arm talent is there. He's doing everything. It would actually be more newsworthy if he wasn't. Life can really be cyclical at times, and I feel like we're all the way back to where we were a year ago. It is fantastic that Rodgers looks great in 11-on-11 drills. Fantastic that he dropped dimes to Gibson, Garrett Wilson, and Alan Lazard. He looks good. He should. He's a future Hall of Fame quarterback. Great that he's all the way back from a torn Achilles. But the fact that he looks good should not be surprising or newsworthy. Just like it should not have been surprising that the Bengals' Joe Burrow looked good in his return following a torn wrist ligament a year ago. Why? Because they are great quarterbacks. Great players are going to look good after injuries in practice. It would be newsworthy if they look terrible. Old lack of arm strength or mobility or accuracy. For the Jets fan, they say to themselves, now well Rogers better look good after all this was the same guy that was attempting to be a medical marvel a year ago by returning during the season that did not happen the Jets fan is not going to get all excited about how Aaron Rodgers looks during OTAs how does he look week one now you might say well this is all part of the process in returning for Rodgers which is true but Rodgers should look good because he is great until next time New York I'm Mark Malusis.